today in this video I am going to show you how to install fish cell on your Mac OS Catalina and also I will show I will be showing you how to install different themes on this cell also we will be discussing about fonts whether you can where you can uh, not by using iterm uh, iterm terminal and only by using the default terminal you can install these fonts with uh, these beautiful themes also so let's start so for this first you need to install the brew package manager uh, let me move to brew and this is the official site of brew and which is called as also homebrew just copy this line uh, and paste it on your terminal and hit enter uh, your brew will be installed uh, along with your xcode uh, xcode command line tools yeah so once it is installed you can check it by typing brew help right so you are here you can see brew is already installed you can install different packages you can update them configure and blah 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 okay now you must be wondering how i got this theme because when you you install you don't see all these things you only get the features in order to get those themes uh i first you need to install the fish cell right so you can install the fish cell fish cell using these uh, different package managers so for this tutorial i am using the brew one and you can simply copy it and paste it here and it will be installed it is that easy okay so once your brew oh uh, sorry once your fish uh, is installed uh, you need to make it as default right uh, let me show you how you can enter into fish cell so currently your terminal looks like this the JS is default one and if you type fish uh, you will be entered into fish cell okay but uh, you need to make it as def default suppose if you want right how can you do it so there are two methods one is uh, shch what was that chsh yeah uh, but you no, know, I I find uh, difficulties in macOS Catalina and it does not support this command and does not make uh, this cell as my default one. So what you can do is you can go to the terminal preferences and from here you come to this cell and uh, check this run command and put it here as fish so what we will do whenever you are opening any terminal app you know, your default one by default it will run this fish command let me show you how it works yeah so see whenever you know i open the application for me it uh, run that uh, fish command now i'm into fish right yeah fish cell so the next thing that is you need to install the theme manager yes you need to install the theme manager for that uh, you just need to call this site you know just copy and paste this command and your themes uh, no your theme package uh, the theme manager will be installed which is omf right and here you can see using you no know, the fees uh, oh my fees yeah Oh, my face uh, theme manager you can install uh, different uh, you can install and remove different themes suppose I need to OMF list which will give me the list of uh, list of themes that I have installed right so in your system you won't find these three themes right so you need to install using omf install then your theme name suppose i want to install the batman and just nope hit enter and it is throwing me error as i have already installed it right and here you can see you know it is it has already changed my theme but manually you can always change these themes bob the face or the other one angster and the great thing about these themes are this support git yeah 
go hard it right at this supports gate and here you can see i'm not suppose i'm into this uh no empty repo and it is showing me that yes you are in the master repo or you could we you know your different branches okay so let me move to the face okay so once you install these themes uh, you will see some uh, issues with you now this uh, font lines and these icons this is because uh you now in mac uh, it has some default fonts and you need to change them and for that uh, you need to run these commands to install these cask fonts uh, this is the updated one which is not available on the internet okay you need to copy and paste here and it will install all those fonts required fonts then once your fonts are installed go to your preferences and come to this text and hit on this change and from this change choose this fire code nerd font and once it is ready close it and close your terminal open it again you are good to go Thanks for watching my video. Like, like and subscribe my channel. Uh, 